In the past, as you can see, I was getting 13, 16, 19, maybe 35 on a good day views. But now, since implementing the strategies I'm gonna show you in this video, I've gotten 386 views in one to two days. I'm gonna show you guys exactly the tool that I used. I did not just come up with this out of thin air. I did some pretty thorough, thorough I guess it's not that thorough, but I did some research on my keywords and um, the sort of videos that I really wanted to hone in on. And by using these keywords, I was able to 10x my views. So let me show you how you can do the same for your channel. This is vidIQ. I've been using vidIQ since 2016 and I mainly use it for keyword help and keyword research to find out which keywords are getting the most clicks and the most traction on YouTube. So it helps to also boost your views. It helps to give you YouTube video ideas now. So vidIQ is a powerful tool that's designed to help content creators um, with their channels and it provides data-driven insights and gives you recommendations. So in this tutorial, I'll walk you through the essential features that you need to know, the pros and cons, whether it's even worth using for a new YouTube channel. Obviously it is, but I want to provide just more um, insight. So first you want to sign up for free um, on vidIQ's site and then you want to install the browser. So if you click after you sign up you just want to go here to extension and you can install the Chrome extension. Um, I'm on an incognito tab but I'll show you how it looks in a second. And then you want to link your YouTube channel. So all of that's going to be in one fell swoop. So once you sign up for free you can, you can use the YouTube channel email address um, that you have connected to your YouTube channel and it'll automatically get all the data and information on your channel. So this is, this is what you'll see after you sign in. You'll see your most recent video here. You'll see um, your views and then your monetization tracker. And it also gives you daily video ideas and it can help you generate a, a video idea. Um, also search up like keywords. Let's search up monetization. So I just want to quickly interject here. Um, I know I'm typing in monetization. That's just because that was my keyword research process. If your channel is about makeup or any sort of other beauty like skincare, you'll see um, your keyword search volume here and its overall score and competition as well. Um, so if you use these keywords in your tags or your video title, um, you can receive some of the uh, impressions and people will click through to your video if you know they like what they see. So let's say maybe skincare. Those are the search volumes for that and the competition as well. But let me give you some of the key features of um, vidIQ. This is one of them, the, the keyword research, which is one I just went over. So I'm on the homepage of YouTube here. And as you can see, I have the vidIQ, uh, where is it? The vidIQ do, 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 extension. It's really easy to add this extension. Um, once you click that button that I told you earlier, It'll just connect um, automatically to YouTube and you'll be able to see this um, Chrome extension here in your browser. I love this part of vidIQ because it tells me um, my analytics, like how many subscribers I have, average watch time, which is not good at the moment, but I will fix that. My views in the past seven days. It looks like the Chrome extension is much more up to date than the actual dashboard because if you look here at the dashboard, my views in the last seven days is only 62, whereas here on the Chrome extension, it's at 213, which my last video did get like 300 views in a day, which is not really normal. I'm super happy about that. Very happy about that. It also tells you um, videos that um, are getting views, like how many views per hour. Let's go at the back end of my YouTube studio just to see. So this channel isn't monetized yet because I haven't reached the 4,000 hour watch time. Okay, so I'm in the back end of my video um, editing um, studio portion of my YouTube channel. 
And let's take a look at this video that was uploaded the other day. And you can see that with the vidIQ extension, you can use their title suggestions and their AI assist as well on the free plan. It also helps you with, you know, searching for keyword terms, that kind of stuff that we did in their app feature. They also help with generating AI images, but I do love their keyword uh, assist. So let's go down. So I'm pretty sure it's YouTube that's adding these tags. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure because I, I've used vidIQ for so long that I don't remember if it's vidIQ or YouTube that uh, provides these tags. I'm pretty sure it's vidIQ. Let's go to the keyword inspector. I know that this is a vidIQ um, feature here. I'm searching again for keywords like I did in their app and yeah, 12,000. YouTube monetization has 131,000. And uh, medium uh, search volume. So it's not super competitive. Let's say you're in the gardening niche. I don't know, like let's do gardening. So it's pretty high overall competition score, 192,000 search terms, meaning search volume, sorry, meaning this is how many people are searching for it per month. I think I've mentioned that. It just gives you search terms for the keywords of your channel. So whatever channel you have, it's good to use this keyword inspector to see if people are searching um, for you know your video title or whichever. You can also go to most viewed. So you can check out videos that have been most viewed on YouTube, how much engagement rate they have. I don't think I've ever looked for this, although I have used competitor, the competitor research before, but I mainly use it for the keyword inspector, to be honest. But they have an amazing things like trend alerts, so you can ask them to alert you when there is a new trend. So you can get on the bandwagon and create a video on it. There's also subscriber analysis, which I've already went through, but because I don't have the, the paid feature, it didn't let me go through. I've never used the paid feature before, to be completely honest with you. I've only ever used the free feature, and that has helped me in the past with all of my YouTube videos. You can also go to the vidIQ Academy, and you'll be able to learn more about YouTube SEO optimization. So let's get a little sneak preview. So it tells you how to use vidIQ and how to set up a YouTube filming space, how to turn your YouTube channel into a business, like a YouTube just mastery platform like do they just help you master youtube from their um, extension to their courses and they also have a video a youtube video a channel why did i say it like that? they also have a youtube channel where they discuss um growing on youtube you can go to their channel here and they have so much videos 1700 videos in the analytics it tells you how many subscribers you have and your watch time and let's go to audience so it's going to give you a better view of your audience and this back end feature here and this will also help to format your video so that you know who your audience are and they also give you ideas for your next video here at the youtube back end so you can just use youtube's back end for analytics and helping with video suggestions just here it's like a very like basic level of vidIQ. So a lot of the good features you need, you need to subscribe to their boost um, plan, which maybe I'll do in the future if I, if I feel like it. <laughs> but I still think that just using the free feature of um, vidIQ is a very, very, very beneficial. So the pros of using vidIQ, it's user friendly. It was so easy to use. Um, they give you really good comprehensive data from their dashboard here to um, just in the back end of YouTube. They give you SEO optimization. So like I said before, keyword research, that kind of stuff that's really helpful. Um, they give you competitor analysis. Of course, once you when you have a large enough following, they'll give you more data on this. For now, they don't have much data for me, but I can actually add channels who I think I can compare against and they'll give me some analytics on that and they also give you regular updates with youtube now i'll say the cons the free version is really really amazing but a lot of the best features are locked behind um, 
the paywall. So I would really love to use, let's say, their um, competitor, their SEO, and their subscriber, but I'd have to pay about $16 a month, which is fine if I am, like, if I really, really needed this information, which maybe I will in the future. There's also perhaps maybe a little bit of an overload of data if you, you know, aren't fully, fully used to it, but I would use it solely just for the keyword research for now. Um, and then learn as you go along. So just use this function for now, it's the best feature, and go from there. So vidIQ, I think it's definitely worth trying, especially if you're serious about growing your YouTube channel. The free version offers you a lot of valuable insights and tools that can help you understand your audience and improve your content. Um, and yes, it's, you know, a lot of the best features are locked behind a paywall and a paid plan. I still think that the free version is amazing to use. Especially if you're a new YouTube channel, vidIQ can provide guidance needed to navigate in YouTube's competitive landscape and optimize your content for searchability and track your progress effectively. Now, the investment in a subscription plan can be justified if you are super duper serious about growing your audience and maybe you have a decent sized audience that you're um, wanting to get more insight on. Um, it could be worth paying for it. So... Yeah, it's a really robust tool. It uh, provides significant value to any YouTube creator, uh, I, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned professional. So um, I would definitely leverage their tool to um, grow your YouTube channel. It's so freaking valuable. Um, it's so, so amazing for people who just want to learn about which keywords are getting the most views and the most clicks so that their video itself can also get clicks. I don't post a video unless I do a bit of keyword research. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely let me know in the comment section if you'll be trying vidIQ. The link um, is in the comment sec in the description box, sorry, down below. Um, if you utilize my link um, to try out vidIQ for free, I will be deeply appreciated. And yes, it is an affiliate link, but I'm happy to provide this link because I love vidIQ. I use it all the time. I believe in it. I believe it can help you just with the free version. So no need to upgrade if you do not want to. But yes, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.